You think this is your universe, but it's not. Not completely. My kind was part of this world long before humans arrived, and will be here long after you fade into history. Especially me. Like you in your office, I started at the bottom, and I scratch and claw to get ahead. And in order for me to rise, You have to go down. After a job's done, I'm free to do as I please. But I'm never idle long. Our work is never finished. I don't know why, Tracy. But it's your time to die. Plane crash kills 72. Why can't I get assignments like that? Once I cause enough accidental deaths, I'll get promoted to Soul Collector. Every demon's dream. It's just a matter of time until I get there. Unless something gets in my way. Soul Collectors have it made. They get to pick their own victims. But humans have to decide for themselves to take a life. Either suicide or murder. All they need is a little encouragement. She rise so fast. What made her a higher demon than me? Is there something that I don't know? But I'll never find out. Cause even in my world, things go wrong. Tracy, stop fucking embarrassing me. What you doing? You're not supposed to be here. I know. Things changed. I ain't doing shit for you, and I ain't doing shit for that little fucking brat. You understand? Yes. God damn it! so different this time. I didn't mean to kill her. Please. She was one of us. I just wanted to ask her a question. But she got in the way. you get instead.
I tried to put things right. But I was changed. I was a cog in a machine. No longer an independent <coughs> contractor. Weren't you a cog before? No! I was an up-and-comer. I was rising to the top. But now you're on your knees. Why? <laughs> I came to ask God to put things back. But God can't help you. How can you even be in this place? <laughs> I thought you were one of us. No, I'm just an independent contractor. Then how do you know the things that you know? Because I violated the natural order, just like you. And I fell. Only from the opposite direction. You were an angel. And then I became a demon. Just like you're now an angel. But that faded. What's going to happen to me? You're in a transient state. Soon you'll become mortal. Not quite human, but mortal. What? So that's it? There's no hope? For me? No. But for you? There's still a way. How? How? Finish your contract. That's the only way. The woman? Tracy. And if I don't? Then you'll be stuck here with me. Once that halo disappears, game over. How long do I have? Where you at? Tracy. What are you doing? I'm not doing this anymore. I'm out of here. What are you talking about? I've had enough! No. Calm down. Jim, it's over. Okay? I'm leaving. It's fucking over. <laughs> Come on. God. Ow. Bitch! You fucking love to piss me off. Don't yeah, take yeah. me to fucking do this to you for one fucking second. Cheating on me now? Son of a bitch. You did this to me.
I read an interview with a priest who gave last rites to death row inmates. He said, we're all tempted to kill. The only difference is that last final second. The death row inmates couldn't hold their anger. <laughs> you fucking bitch. <laughs> Being human is an exercise in restraint. Thanks for the help on this one, Kurt Busher. Two for the price of one. <laughs> Why? Mm hmm. Why? Because life's a game of souls. And you're just a pawn. Oh, I guess I'm on my way back up. Or should I say down? Two for the price of one? How did I get played like that? I should have seen it coming. Murderers go to hell, but what about me? I don't see a light. I sure as hell don't expect any pearly white gates. Am I damned? Or saved? No one ever told me. I waited for a bloody hour. Yes. It's the only file in there. Now, find his mobile number and text it to me. No, text it to me, I don't have a pen. Yes. The drawer on the left. Open it. Take out the file. Okay, just let him know. And if he calls the office, tell him to call me on my mobile. He's late. Good. Patrick. Hello, Nigel. Yeah, I told you he would be. Yeah, well, he was late. I can't spend all day pricking about. Miss? 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 Americano. No, no, I'll, I'll drop the keys back later. I've got a two o'clock. Yeah, well, tell him from me. That One or two shots. What? One or two shots. Tell him from me that we don't need the business. We're not a fucking charity. Well, I'll tell him then. No. He'll have to wait. I've got a... getting a coffee. Yeah, in your dreams, mate. I'm sitting on Friday. What can I say? Some of us get reservations at Cozy, some of us don't. Yeah, whatever, mate. Two pounds. I'll, uh, I'll see you back at the office.
sorry, that seat's taken. I'm expecting a friend. It's not taken at the moment. Yeah, well, they'll be here any minute. So would you kindly... Would you please move? I think I'll wait. I'll leave when they get here. Look, I'm saving that seat. I'm sure there are other seats available. I like this one. This is ridiculous. You don't even have a drink. I'll get one in a minute. I'm waiting for friends. Oh, really? That's good. Well, fine. Fine. See what we want to see, but we rarely see the truth. I'm sorry. I said we see what we want to see, but we rarely see the truth. Yes. Very good. Look, um... Take it, please. I'm uh, very busy at the moment, and I really haven't got time to talk. I'm sorry. They laugh at your money. Oh, do they? Do they? Well, it's all I've got, so take it or leave it. Don't move! Not yet! Please don't move! Get your hand off me! Turn the voice down! Listen! Listen very carefully! They're in here now. They can sense you. Why? Watch them follow you in from the street. Your only chance is to listen to me. Let go of my voice, or I'll call the police! I'll call the police! Oh. Oh, here we go. Showing your true colours now. Give it back. Give it back now or I will have the police on you so fast your feet won't touch the ground, mate. I'll give it back if you listen to the one thing I have to say, just one thing. I'll give it back right now or I am getting up, going over to the counter and getting them to call the police. Well, you can get up, go over to that counter, explain the situation and, and they'll call the police. But in the meantime, I'll have dropped your phone down the toilet. Then we can wait for the police to arrive and I'll help them with their inquiries. There's no skin off my nose. But you sound like a busy man to me. Do you need all that? Or will you give me one minute of your time? One minute. Just one little minute. Okay. So, what's so important? Oh, let me guess. The end of the world. It's not the end of the world. It's the end of our world. They've taken over the entire city. There are more and more of them every day. They bide their time, corner you, pick you off one by one. They're in here now. I can smell you. And what are they going to do about it? <laughs> Buy me a coffee. <laughs> I've heard quite enough. You can tell me who they are with this. It sorts the weed from the chafe. Okay. You've had your one minute. Give me my phone now. Would you like me to prove it to you? Prove what to me? When I blow on this, it drives them crazy. They can't abide the sound. It has a range of about 20 or 30 feet. Enough for this place make you a deal. If I blow on this and nothing happens, then you get your phone and walk out. But if, if we see a change, if something happens, then you stay and listen to what I have to say. Yeah. Whatever. Blow your house down. Here we go. So, some people are affected by whatever frequency that thing gives off. 
it, it doesn't prove anything. I'm sure not all dogs are affected by just one dog whistle. <laughs> oh, but they are. Okay. Okay, so you carry around some stupid joke whistle. I admit it'll be a kick of parties if you wanted to get rid of certain guests. Certain guests, yes. Okay, you've had your fun. Phone. We have a deal. <laughs> okay. We have a deal. Five minutes. But after you're through, you better hand over my phone or I am getting... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll give you your phone back. Five minutes. Five minutes is all it'll take. You see, I was once like you. Living in ignorance, going about my day-to-day -day business without a care in the world. Business? What business? And then I started to see them. Started to see things out of the corner of my eye. A man turns the corner in an alley and gets lifted off his feet. A face pressed up against the window of a high-rise, screaming in terror, only to be dragged back and the blinds pulled down. A boy, arranging the skin around his neck as if it had only just been formed. A collective consciousness beginning to form all around us. So far, so invasion of the body snatchers. Do you think I've always dressed like this? I was once like you. But I soon realized that that would make me an easier target. See, they can smell me like they smell you. So I stopped washing dressed like a bum and for a while I went unnoticed. I've heard some excuses for dropping out my time, but I've got a hand. A small price to pay. But over time they've become more blatant. I saw a man dragging a woman by the hair down the street. I saw three of them jump a man on the last train yesterday. Five of them appeared to be police officers. They dragged the man kicking and screaming into their van. A domestic argument. A fight on the tube and some muppet gets arrested. You need help. You're a classic paranoia case. It's just the city. The city has always been like this. I'm sorry for you. I, I really am. You've obviously had a hard life. Look, um, I've got five pounds in my wallet. It's, it's yours. But I need my phone and I need to go. But now things are different. They've almost taken over the entire city without anyone even knowing they're swarming. Everywhere you look, it's just a game to them. They play with people hunting them. They're almost out in the open. I was walking down the street one day, a busy street, when everyone stopped. Everyone stopped walking and staring at me. Can you imagine how they felt? The terror. Can you imagine all your nightmares coming through? Oh, can you? Get off me! They all slowly started to turn and walk in my direction. And I ran. I ran faster than I have ever run in my entire life, but I could hear them giving chase, so many of them. But I know the city. I know the city like the back of my hand, and I let them a merry dance. Let go of me! So I took a turn. Found an alley that by right should be open and clear. It was sealed off with an iron gate barbed wire across the top. I shouted, I screamed, I, I picked up rocks and threw them at the windows above. And no one came. And then I heard them. Dozens of them. They came around the corner. Dozens of them. But I turned. I tried to climb, but it was it was impossible. I was trapped. So how did you bloody escape then? I didn't. What the hell is this? There are so few of you left. Few of me? What are you talking about? This is a joke. You're not funny. None of you are funny. Give me my phone! What do you want? Money? How much? Ten. Twenty. We laugh at your money. This is insane. You're all insane. 
What about that stupid whistle? You, you said it, it drives them crazy. Yes, it drives people like you crazy. But we put a little something in your coffee. There were too many of you here. Too many? I told you. We bide our time, corner you, and pick you off one by one. I don't think you were paying attention. All of you. You're not funny. You can't do this to people. Get away from me. Wake up, soldier! Can't believe this! Every night! Every single night? No! Look, it was a monster! He did it! Did what? This is what gives you nightmares! But, Daddy, I didn't play with him last night! Not like this! That's it, Daniel! No more playing with your toys! Until you stop wetting the bed! But, Daddy, it wasn't me! Believe me, the monster! No more stuff about monsters! You don't believe me! You never believe me! Finish your dinner? Yes. You been in the bathroom yet? Yes. Do you know why I'm frustrated with you? I do. Good. I don't want to hear from the sitter that you stayed up. And Daniel, if you wet the bed again, I'm taking you to the doctor. Now go to sleep.
You fought many battles for me. I call on you for the greatest, hardest mission ever, ever. Cap, you have to come alive again. You have to stop the monster. Help me. Save me, Cap. Gentlemen, time to suit up. Your orders, Cat. Marine, we got a lot of work to do. We draw the line here. Come on, boys, let's double time it. We'll protect you. Sergeant! Come on, men! Sergeant, I want Crash, Trigger, Tattoo, and Joker. Okay, two pencils, a slinky. 50 yards out. Post up the two pencils. We're gonna lay a tripwire. We're gonna bring down this bastard. Yes, sir. Grab the pencils. Get the slinky. Grab your shovel. We got some digging to do, boy. Let's move with a purpose, gentlemen. Sir, sir. fought side by side. Some of you, since Christmas. Hell, I don't care if you came from Toy Mart or Toy Land. <laughs> no matter. We're elite. We're one now. Last night, we were unprepared. Outmatched. That will not happen tonight. Our Commander-in-Chief calls upon us. This is our duty. Time has come to make oaths as Marines. Now I believe we can defeat this monster. Gentlemen. This is why we were made. Do you believe? Hoorah! For Daniel! Hoorah! Guns up. Look sharp.
You better not have wet the bed. Daddy, no, don't. Son. I'm so proud of you. Oh. See, I wasn't lying, Daddy. Mm. They killed the monster. Is that right? Well, all I know is that you didn't wet the bed. And that's good enough for me. Told you to believe me. I'm sorry for being frustrated. You know I still love you. My little soldier.
about to start I could Ugh, connection's bad. Whatever, I'm just glad to talk to somebody. Otherwise, I do not think I'm gonna make it home. <laughs> I actually think I passed out for a minute. I can't believe you and Travis left me alone with that creep. You just kept talking about his ex-girlfriend. You know, to make it worse, he just kept going on and on about how no one will ever compare to her. And I'm just sitting there thinking like, why are you even on this date with me? And obviously I needed a few drinks just to get myself through that shit show. Laura! Damn, Julia. What's up? I need you to pick me up. Like, now. Something is not right. Wait, what? Where are you? Why are you walking? Shouldn't you be at Travis's? <sighs> Listen to me. I need you to come pick me up. Something's not right over there. What do you mean, not right? Julia, did he do something to you? Yes. No. I passed out as soon as I got there. And I had this, this crazy nightmare. And, and then I felt something in the room with me wake me up. But Trav wasn't there. And then I heard these noises coming from his roommate's room. If he touched you, I swear to God. I tried to ignore them, but they were, they were loud, really loud. It, it sounded like a, a struggle, like someone was being hurt. Oh my God, Julia. So you caught his roommate banging some chick and now you're all freaked out? Come on, you can be such a prude sometimes. That's not what this was. It was something else. There was a, a man in the hallway. He was just standing there in all black and there was so much blood. I just ran. And, I don't know what happened to Travis. He told me his roommate was into some weird shit, but I didn't think... Wait, what the fuck is that on your neck? Is that your blood? Where are you? Um, I'm, I'm near the gas station in Florida. And... Julia? Julia! You've reached Julia. You know what to do. Okay, I know how you and Travis are, and if this is another prank like Halloween, I'm gonna be so pissed. You've reached Julia. You know what to do. You've reached Julia. You know what to do. Okay, look, it's not funny. Call me back. <sighs> um, Travis?
your destination is in 20 feet. Travis, just open the van and end this now. I can't. What do you mean you can't? We're dead, Laura. What do you mean you and Travis are dead? You're not making any sense. Not me and Travis. Gonna leave Travis with that creep? That's his roommate. Besides, he's been a jerk all night. I just wanna go for it. Well, I don't know if we really should be driving. Citizens of America, our world came under attack by a new addictive drug called hype. We will not stop to combat this threat. Congress and the FBI's teleport system has dealt a crushing blow to the notorious drug lord Bodega. Don't be fooled, America. Hype is not an escape. It is not the answer. It is illegal and wrong. We will win this war. We will prevail. Dice, we located Bodega. Jump in five minutes. We got her locked in a nightclub, Berlin. You know I can't make her jump that far. Hey, fuck that! This is public enemy number one. You're my best man. Whatever the 24-hour cooldown rule. Precautionary bullshit. You know no one's ever died from jumping. No one's ever died. Does this look like some precautionary bullshit to you? Hey, 
You couldn't have done all those jumps without it. Just one more. No. Not anymore. I'm off that shit. Think about your son. Shut it. Now take some of that anger and go arrest the bitch that created the drug that killed your kid. I said shut it. How long are you going to blame yourself, huh? You get bodega, hype production ends. And you get even with God. This is my last 10 minutes as an ace. After I get bodega, I'm out. Activate teleport. Teleport activated. Can you kick some ass? Requested. I got dice to jump. Good for you then. I want this bitch alive. And Barry, don't fuck this up if you want that promotion. I'm with the plan. All right, people, let's look sharp. It's not every day you get to catch number one. Suck it up. With the brain trauma. Earpiece activated. Digital handcuff activated. Jumpsuit activated. Dice's vitals are not stable. He's a big boy. Proceed. Eye video. Undercover identities activated. Target dossier activated. Get more Hype production. You get even with God. Fifteen seconds to jump. Shanks POV. Still working to enhance. Don't look too long. We got work. Target confirmed. 
seven minutes to re-jump. Okay, Dice. Make me a rock star. My family, thank you for the birthday party. But I have to handle some FBI business right now. Some birthday cake. Mom, too much sugar. But Chang, we are the FBI. Now you're under arrest. Dice, is that blue in your eye? Are you hyped? Her own fucking agent's on hype? If this leaks out, what do you think's gonna he happen? Is? He won't be an agent after this. Do all FBI agents snort the jump? You're right. I have had to use your shit so I can finally catch your ass. Catch this ass. More like steel. Washington wants my hype recipe because they can't make it. Bullshit. Why would they? Billions, trillions of dollars. Your government wants hype to sell. Spread around the world so they can control us, the people. Chang, I got it. Ladies. Chang, take him out. So cool. But Dice, I'm sorry about your son. I've been trying to make high balls childhood. What? You don't think I do my own counter surveillance on you guys? Step back. I'll take her in. Change of plans, boys. You should have left my son out of this. Have a good day. Dice! Damn it, Barry. You said we were the only ones with this technology. We're the only ones with the teleporter. 30 seconds to rejump. You're back for business, Dice. You know how good hype is. Jump them out of there, now! Not enough time. I thought the FBI could afford one of the perks of the beast. Too bad you don't have enough time to get my whip. You're going down. So persistent, but useless. I'm sorry about your son, but you've been playing for the wrong team. Delete that footage. Do it! Guards! Arrest that agent! Arrest him! Your agent days are over! You're done! Did you get a lock on the location? He got it. Get the troops ready. I'm 
going to give the FBI my own birthday surprise.